Hey everyone, welcome back to Figure Fantasy. So this is a December edition of the tier list. Plus we have two new figures that just dropped. So without further ado, let's move on to our tier list. Okay, so we start off our tier list with uh, tier C. As you can see um, in this tier list, I've named them because most of you guys, I'm sure, do not memorize all of their names. And um, as you can see, there are also letters before their names. They're, you know, they're their position types. So Rico for Defender, Midori for Vanguard, um, Ophelia for Militarist, and Ryoma for Militarist. Okay, so let's start with tier C. So let's start with Ryoma. Ryoma... Um, they are, um, Ryoma is basically your starter uh, ranged uh, figure. Um, deals a lot of damage, but that's just it. So he is a tier C. Ophelia as well, um, not, not really a good damage dealer for a militarist. Um, not significant damage really to take you guys even to the mid game. So that is why she is at tier C. And also for Midori, for Vanguard, um, not enough survivability, not enough damage for Melee. That is why she is again at Tier C. And the last here is going to be Rico. So Rico, I've used Rico for a while uh, when I was starting. She is going to kind of bring you through PvE content for a while, but de definitely um, she's going to taper off because she doesn't have enough survivability survivability although she is good as a tank or uh, sorry as she's good as a tank but and also she taunts but that that's just it so nothing really special of these four for tier c let's move on to tier b so for tier b we have here um there they are usable but definitely there are better um figures than these guys so akechi um also known here as uh, your uh what do you call this he is really known for your ignite resist um resistance so the he, he decreases the resistance of ignite for your enemy so he might have a place in your roster but not really as your mainstay for arena arena has ignite as well um, for a specialist, not too much damage on her end. Next is Aoi. Aoi, I think, is the most usable here for tier B, but she's very situational. She thrives on certain situations that um, sometimes there are actually better um, figures than her. But again, she's usable, um, I think, or one or two, um, what do you call this? One or two content in the game, but not that much. So shield she has she boosts health and i think she boosts damage as well but it's not really enough and she's not used that much next is going to be yamazaki yamazaki what can i say about this guy he looks cool but doesn't really pack a punch also survivability survivability is a question um and uh, he's only good for attacking the back line if 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 you want to you know kill the healers or the ranged uh, figures at the back he that is his specialty but aside from that i don't think he is going to be your man moving forward especially for mid game and for late game next is going to be suzumi she is a vanguard she actually carried me through early stages of the game together with rico i like her because she has summons but and also she attacks multiple you know multiple enemies for her ultimate but again she, she late game she doesn't deal that much damage anymore so eventually you'll be able you you'll be replacing her so i don't think you're gonna go with her guys if you are in the middle or late stages of the game already so last is going to be sanada sanada is is not really fit for a defender um i think he is kind of mixed between a vanguard and a defender um, not really your typical tank. So again, but he's classified as a defender. So again, he's not really going to bring you uh, where you want to in the mid game. So next, uh, uh, tiers A, S, and SS are definitely the ones that you are going to be using more frequently. Um, take note, guys. Aoi is or might be at A. 
But again, she just borderlines between A and B. So I put her at B for sure. So next is going to be tier A. So at tier A, we'll start with the right. So we have um, Sani, which is a helper. Sani has uh, frost resist, uh, uh, the frost resist for the enemy so that you could frost them or freeze them more. She also has healing and she has AOE, um, a not really AOE, but multiple damage to um, your enemies on the other side. She can be good actually in PvE content. For Camille, um, in terms of what he brings, his kit is very difficult, I think, to pull off because of the lock. Lock meaning um, Camille is here, guys. Camille um, lock is um, your enemies cannot move, so it's only movement that, that is restricted, but they can still attack you if they're, they're ranged. So again, he has limited use. That is why he is at A. Okay, next is going to be Re. Re um, for a militarist is good for single target. Also good for for multiple targets, but she if if you only have one target definitely much better for her so you could concentrate all her damage on one target um she really specializes in bosses and um that's it so but again if you bring her with bosses if you don't have zanta kane yet um re is a very good substitute if you don't have zanta so next is going to be zhao yu zhao yu um, I think um, increases crit of adjacent figures. Uh, also has heal, and um, I don't know. I didn't, not crit. I think it's it's a it's attack speed. So, um, not too much um you know, to brag about. Um, just your regular healer and um, his kit overall. There are better healers than him, definitely. Um, next to his left is going to be Yuna, who is a vanguard. Yuna, one of the best burst um, vanguards that I've seen, um, can really take down Crusus if she you know, has uh, that burst in play. Um, but again, she is very limited to her burst attack for her ultimate. That is where she shines. And she... Her survivability is, is, is kind of average, actually. So you can still bring her if you don't have the others at uh, tier S and tier SS. You can definitely bring Yuna with you um, as your vanguard. Next is going to be Astaroth. Astaroth, um, for a defender, not really in that category. He, he is kind of mixed between a defender and a vanguard. He definitely has lifesteal and also transforms into a dragon. But that's just it. Um, he's he's kind of confused whether he's a vanguard or a defender. So, but he still ha is still useful as long as you level him up. But again, um, for his rarity, he's difficult to to level up. That is why he is at A. Next is going to be Alfred. So Alfred transforms into it into a demon. Um, his his damage is. Is okay it's kind of good his survivability is what I'm questioning he requires I think at the three star uh, peach he's good but you know the the, the, the levels before that um, he is very thin as paper when it comes to being Vanguard and survivability wise Okay, and our last for tier A is going to be Vasily. Vasily is one of the top three tanks that I, you know, I'm recommending. The top two obviously are in S or S and SS. But Vasily is really a decent tank. Stun, um, very tough uh, as a tank as well. Uh, but again, he lacks the, the, the versatility of his kit than his two counterparts that are in S and SS. Okay, so let's move on to our S um, tier. So for S tier, let's start again with the right. So we have that new figure that we have been raving about, which is uh, Xantha. Uh, she's a specialist, but she does pretty much a very big chunk of damage, especially if it's only one target and especially if, if it's a boss. So try to build her up. Um, preferably you bring her up up to two star peach or three star 
then you will get the best out of her and also try to uh, put uh, level her skills up to at least level two then you're good to go so xantha kane one of uh, i think you could actually put her side by side with zalora and they would be perfect for bosses next is going to be harriet harriet is also a specialist so harriet um aside from her summon she has she does blind and she's a very good utility um she summons her summons frequently uh, as they explode and she summons them again and she's really a good support to have on your team um, long range as well so um, aside from the one that has summon so you have um suzumi she's going to be a range and she is going to be more survivable in continuously summoning for figures or summons okay so next is going to be vazerwin so vazerwin is um a militarist so she's ranged tremendous damage for AOE, Frost as well. And what can I say? She clears the board usually when it comes to minions on the board. And um, she does. She deals Frost uh, damage as well. And next is going to be Lubu. He's going to be here. So also a militarist. So Lubu specializes in single target and also adjacent figure damage. Um, very good in in single target and also in mobs. Next is um, you have here Sakura. Sakura has uh, definitely the one that I like from her kit is uh, Silence, and she also boosts the attack of adjacent uh, what they call this adjacent figures. That is why she is good to be paired with Xanta Kane if you have them both. Um, it's definitely a recommendation that you use or you put Xanta in the vicinity of Sakura. Next is going to be Mako. So Mako is one of the top three healers for me. Um, aside from Erixia, of course, to her left. So Mako, uh, one of the quickest healers that I've seen. She rotates her heals fast. Not it's 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 not a bunch. She she doesn't she she doesn't give much. But again, the frequency of heals that she gives is what I like about her. Sometimes I would pair her together with Zephyr, so that they could give all the or they could alternate their heals um in my team. So next is going to be Erixia. So again, another um favorite pairing with Zephyr. Uh, Erixia is actually um, known for her share health. So once she shares health, especially for PvP or for you know against bosses, she is really really difficult, or your team is going to be difficult to be defeated. But again, using Erixia in the team has its own drawbacks, especially if one has lower HP than that certain figure dies early. But again, the shared health uh, gives everybody a a more you know more survivable in a certain battle or a certain a certain matchup okay so next is going to be usuki which is going to be your specialist so usuki here has blue hair this is actually a picture from the japanese server um in our game he is actually in red hair so usuki i've seen a combo with usuki and vazerwin and both of them really deal a lot of damage um um ozuki also has uh frost by the way and uh, it really is good in crowd control and the last in s tier is going to be crusoe so he is going to be your second to your, your second best tank crusoe has lifesteal um he is also very tough um deals a lot of damage as well to enemies in front of him and uh, again he's very survivable he is just bested by the other defender which is in tier ss and i think you guys know who it is so let's proceed to our tier ss so again for our tier ss so here they are here is the cream of the crop um first to your right is going to be uh, vanguard yuina so yuina has dual Duel is like taunt and it isolates a certain matchup, has damage reflect and deals really massive damage. I still don't have her and I really would love to have her on my team. 
which is really hard to hard to get but again um for those who have her you're lucky guys because i like the way her sculpture looks and i like the way she does battle um when she's on the field okay so next is going to be specialist uh irens um has energy and health restore um is good especially if you want to make sure that one of your tanks is going to be alive for a long time so really focuses on one figure to to restore health and restore energy and uh, once you just once you find a way to protect her and she doesn't die the defender in front or the vanguard in front won't won't die as well and will will really survive with the buffs and the heal the health restore that she gives them so next on her left is going to be a militarist with which is zarola so all of you are familiar with zarola so she is she is really one of the best um, dps figures in the game she's good for single target she's good for multiple tar multiple targets in a single row um what can i say uh the, so far nobody can compete with her in the dps in the game so one of the best dps figures that we have in the game next is going to be um a helper which is zoom zoom zuj zoom I'm, I'm not sure if i'm pronouncing his name right but he is zoom liang so he is here he is also one of the newest um figures that we have so he does healing reduction for your enemies boosts critical rate absorbs lethal damage and shield so he gives he, he absorbs lethal damage for the whole team to take note not only for himself and after that gives them a shield so that is why he is really going to be good if you have him you have copies of him please do use him um, i think he's going to be good in pvp as well gonna be a headache for your enemies that is why he is going to be ss so um you know surviving le lethal damage is one of the things that um is a strategy in this game and this guy has a built-in for all of your allies okay next to his uh, left is going to be zephyr so zephyr um our top healer um you know heals gives energy um two of the most important things that we need in this game to be competitive and she gives them to her team so again if you guys have zephyr you have one of the best healers and um, and supporters of the game so again what can i say this girl you know was one of my first um figures when i started and I, and i've never looked back um, you know i've been using her since the, since the start and she is really good and to round out our SS is going to be Yoko. So Yoko, um, she is Vanguard. The one that intrigues me about Yoko is her ghost state. So with increased attack speed, she can be very, very good. Okay. So again, um, what can I say for Yoko? one of the best uh what do you call this one of the best uh uh vanguards that we have her ghost state actually extends up to seven seconds which also uh, gives her immunity from lethal damage and prevents her from dying so again uh, it would be difficult to kill her and her damage is actually good as well um before i proceed to the last ss sorry i i, I missed one slot on this side so the last one for tier s we'll go back down below is going to be zhao yun zhao yun one of i think i've been i've been using him from the start so um one of the best uh, melee figures with a shield absorbs a lot of damage has lifesteal has a very good or fast attack speed so what can you say he sometimes you know he sometimes uh clears uh what do you call this um the, the what do you call this the big three if he's on that team and he's the only one left he sometimes f clears off that stage all by himself so what can i say about this guy um my only problem with him is if he cannot recover enough uh of his lifesteal then he gets killed but 
if he does c consistently pull off his shield and lifesteal, then he survives that well. Okay, going back to SS, our last SS is going to be Megan. So Megan, one of the best um, or the best defenders that we have. Um, aside from how good looking she is, especially with her new skin. Um, uh, in terms of HP, is he, she has tons of HP. And she casts that ultimate and ultimate grants her a shield. So sometimes even if she has a shield, she casts again so that it could be, you know, f full again. So if you built her right and if you've, you know, if her, her shield is that big, you cannot really, uh, you know, you cannot really um, pierce through her defense or go through her defense. She's going to be a wall for you guys. And sometimes or most of the time, she's the last woman standing in my team. So I've used her. I, she's currently in, I think, four star in my team and really a hell of a tank. So that is it, guys, for our tier list. So hope you guys had a you know had a good time while i was uh rambling through the tier list um if you have any questions or suggestions or comments please put them down in the comment section below for now as of the playtest since soft launch up to december these are my assessments of each of them uh um, based on actual usage and also gameplay okay guys so thank you very much for staying this far so um, uh, please subscribe to my channel if um, you haven't subscribed yet because this helps my channel a lot. Also, guys, do not forget to click the bell icon if you if you want um, to be updated on every video that is coming from my channel. And take care, guys. Stay safe. This is The Warden, and I'm out of here.